St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32, and it reads, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, keep confessing, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, regards for people here for bear. Then the Lord said, You confess me before the world. This is this is a red letter. Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, right? Our Savior. He saves, He delivers. He said, If you confess me for the whole world, then I'm gonna confess you to the Heavenly Father, man. We got that word. We got that word confess. So something quick through the spirit of Yahweh Bashi man. Look, look, we must confess the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son to the world, man. That's who's coming to save. That's who's coming to deliver Israel. We don't know if you got the message. We don't know if you got the memo, but that's the word on the street. All right? That's the word on the street. Let's get that word confess. Confess. Acknowledge. See, we acknowledge our power. Israel, we need help, Israel. We acknowledge our power. You see, what, what else? We make known who our power is. And these are some of the um, definitions for the word confess. It says, um, declare, we, de we declare our power openly into the whole world. We, we, we don't deny our Savior, man. The one that came down here and shed his blood for us. We ain't, no, man. Hell no. Hell no. Let's see, profess, confess, make public, bring to the light, own up to, to look, tell all about. Let's see. Own up to. Let's see what else. We look, tell the truth. When you look up the um, definition for the word um, confess, some of the synonyms is tell the truth, tell all, make known, spill the beans. Okay? So when you're confessing your power to the whole world, you're pretty much spilling the beans. You're not, we're not concealing who our power is, who we believe in, who we worship, who we reverence. No, man. Let's get that again. Quick little lesson through the spirit. St. Matthew, Lord, one of the elect is edified. Look, we must confess our power openly. You see, if you want him to confess you openly to the Heavenly Father, you see, St. Matthew 10, 34, 32, Salakia, whosoever, meaning the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, because this is who this word is for. The whole world knows that by now, whether you want to admit it or not. The whosoever that it's talking about is the Israelites, right? It says, whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. And look, look, we read the definition for the word confess. It means to acknowledge, to acknowledge who your power is to the whole world. What, what did it say? Him shall I confess also before my father, which is in heaven, man. All right. It, it reads on, it says, but whosoever shall deny me before men. So the Israelites that are denying Yahweh Shai before the whole world, he doesn't need to be worshipped. He doesn't exist and all this other crap. You see, we'll, we'll get the definition for deny too. The Lord said, whosoever shall deny. Now, he first he said, confess me to the whole world. You, we, you have to acknowledge who your power is, who you worship to the whole world. It can't be a secret, all right? Now, the Lord ain't saying go to your job. You see, I don't let the bus stop telling people, no, man, when you out there on the highways and byways, when you're making these videos, these sit-down videos, confess your power to the whole world. But then he came right back and said, but whoso shall deny me before men? And you look up the word deny. Let's see what that says. Let's see. Um. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, look, look, the deny is a verb. State that one refuses to admit the truth or existence of. You see? See our people are denying the truth. The truth is our Lord and Savior name is Yahweh Shot. They're denying the Savior, man. That's what the word deny means. The state state that one refuses to admit. You refuse to admit who your power is, you Israelites. State that one refuses to admit the truth or existence of the, they're saying that our Lord and Savior never existed. It, it, he ain't real. He's a fictitious character. That's what two thirds of our people are saying, right? Let's see what else. Discredit, look to discredit, to squash, shoot down. You see? That look pretty much opposed to oppose, man. All right, pretty much backpedaling. You see, everything that's written up in the scriptures about our Lord and Savior, they're pretty much denying it. They look, say, say he didn't do the miracles. Say he won't, he won't raise from the dead. You know, say, saying he didn't shed his blood for the children of Israel. That, that's what you're saying when you deny Lord Yahweh Shai, right? And look, and, and the phone chimed in. But whosoever shall deny me before men. Him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. And then we're going to read on. Look, look, think not that I have come to send peace on earth. Lord, Yahweh shall come to give peace on this earth. But you you deny your only power. You deny, you Israelites, you deny your only help. You deny your Savior, man. This one, the one that's coming to destroy this place, that's coming to destroy Babylon. You deny them to the whole world. And look, he said he's going to deny you. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And what does that sword represent? Destruction, man. All right? That sword represents destruction. So look, look, we got to confess our power to the whole world. He, he's coming to bring destruction. He said, look, he said he's going to lay this land desolate. And you got our people denying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh denying the only begotten son. When he's coming to bring destruction upon this place, Let's see 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 16. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 16. Listen, it says, Yet if any man suffer, matter of fact, let's see. Uh, I, I'm going to read 14. I'm going to jump. I'm going to be jumping around. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 14. But if ye be, if ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, because remember, we're supposed to be confessing. The name of our Lord openly. You see, if ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye. Happy are ye when, when you're being reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, right? It says, For the spirit of glory and of the Most High Yahweh resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of. Two thirds are speaking evil of Yahweh Shai. Right? Look, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. You see all these clowns coming out of the cut, coming out of the sewer, coming out of the trash can, denying you how about Shimao Shai. He's being evil spoken of, man. You see, they're throwing dirt on our power name, man. On on his legacy. Uh, what, what he did for us, man. Look, you know that ain't gonna fly. You you know that ain't gonna fly. Look, look, on their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is glorified. But we glorify the Lord. They speak evil of Lord Yahweh Shai. But we glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We glorify our Lord and Savior openly to the whole world, man. To the whole world. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a as a follower of the anointed, it got Christian there. It's really followers of the Hamashiach, the anointed, Lord Yahweh Shad. Let him not be ashamed when it comes to be being a follower of the anointed, Lord Yahweh Shad. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed, man. You see? Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, which is which is the anointed, Hamashiachims, let him not be ashamed but let him glorify the most high on this behalf man you see 
look, 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 because judgment is coming. And the scriptures say judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. And, and no matter, and I'm, I'm, I, just, I might as well read it. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High Yahweh. Hashim Yahweh Shai. And that's going into the people that know they're Hebrew Israelites, right? Judgment is going out, man. Ju the Lord took, um, wrapped the news out of here. He took the discomforter out of here. He took many false prophets that knew they was Hebrew Israelites out of here, right? He says, for the, for, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And, and if it first begin at us, what, what shall be the end of him that obey not the gospel of the Most High, Yahweh by Shem Shai? You see, the scripture say it's better to obey. It, the scripture say, what shall be the judgment of those that don't obey the gospel, that don't believe in the truth? Death, man. Horrible death, man. It says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, the righteous are going to be scarcely, the elect of the nation of Israel are going to scarcely be saved. They're going to be saved by the hairs of their chin and chin, 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 right? Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? In that fire, man. In that fire, man. You see? Wherefore, well, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit the keeping of their souls to Him and well doing as, un, as unto a faithful creator, man. So yeah, we suffering right about now. We're being ridiculed, we're being defamed, we're being persecuted for the names of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, but the scripture said continue in well doing. Continue in the will of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Look, a great reward is coming. A great reward is coming for those that confess the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord said, don't be ashamed of me and my gospel. Don't be ashamed of me and the gospel, man. You see? And I just want to bring out a couple of little scriptures through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh I got a couple more, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I just, I just want to do a couple of scriptures on just confessing the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You got the whole, pretty much the whole nation of Israel denying our Lord and Savior. But that small remnant, they're going to confess the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. No, no matter what they go through. Let's get this. This is 2 Timothy chapter 1. Let's see. I start at 7. For the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, you see, which is the spirit of prophecy, you see, be not ashamed, Israel, be not thou, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of the men, look, nor of the men, his prisoners, you see, because we're prisoners of hope, right, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel, According to the power of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who have saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, because it ain't nothing that we did that brought us into this, this thing of ours, it's true. But according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach before the world began. So some of us could have been some of those spirits from the beginning, before the earth was even created, that trusted and believed in Lord Yahweh Shai and the only begotten Son. And those spirits back there, man, confessing the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai openly, openly, man. Say the Lord shall be revealed. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's get that. What is that? Um, yeah, um, Thessalonians. Let's get that right quick. Let's get that. First Thessalonians chapter one, verse seven. And it reads, and to you who are troubled, because remember we're suffering, right? And to you who are troubled, look, rest with us within the comforter. When Lord Yahweh Shai, who even called Jesus, who we're confessing openly to the whole world, when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, because that's what the Lord is coming back with. He's coming back with glory, with the heavenly hosts. The Lord is coming back with the angels, man. As a matter of fact, let's get a precept right quick. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands 
what is that um is that psalms yeah psalm 68 let's get that right quick a quick little lesson lord one of the elect is edified psalms look look confess your power openly to don't deny lord yahweh shai don't you do it israel psalm 68 and 17 the chariots of the most high yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them. Didn't we just read about that? In 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7, we're going to go right back to that. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of angels is coming back with the, with the Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai, for those that confessed him to the whole world. Can, can you dig it, Israel? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy places, man. So our Lord is coming back, man, real soon in this lifetime. Going right back. Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse seven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in the chariots, in the chariots, right? In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the most high, Yahweh. And they obey not the gospel. Didn't we just read that? Did we just read that? That obey not the gospel. Remember, judgment shall begin at the house of the Lord. The Lord's coming back to take vengeance on them that obey not the gospel. Look, look, the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, because he is the word. You, 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 you Israelites are stupid as hell, though. Y'all, y'all tell us when y'all believe in the Bible, but guess what? The Bible is, is the word. Now, who is the word? Lord Yahweh Shai. So, so you denying Lord Yahweh Shai, you're denying the book. Because pursuant to Psalms 40 and 7 says, Behold, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. So Old Testament, New Testament, Apocrypha, it's all about Lord Yahweh Shai. What are you talking about, man? You see? Read on. Who shall be punished? Meaning two thirds, right? Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Because that's what the Lord is coming back with power. It says, um, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints, meaning the elect, and to be admired in all them that believe. Remember, confess the Lord openly to the whole world, and he's going to confess you to the Heavenly Father. What does it say? When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, meaning Lord Yahweh Shai, and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day, man. So see how important it is? See how important it is to confess Lord Yahweh Shai to the whole world? You see how, see how important it is, right? You, you, you're starting to see how important it is, right? Right, Israel? Let's see what else I want to get. I got a couple more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. Just want to burn some early morning oil. It's early in the morning. Just want to burn some early morning oil. Let's see. I want to get this. L listen to this, Israel. Psalms 69 and 6. And it reads, Let not them that wait on thee. Because you know what we're waiting. We're waiting on our Lord, right? Waiting on our Lord and Savior, right? Lord Yahweh Shai. Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord, Yahweh, Shai, the power of hosts, the Lord of armies, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O Yahweh of Israel, the power of Israel. So the Israelites that are sitting back patiently waiting on Yahweh, Bashim Shai, they're not going to be put to shame. They're not going to be put to shame. We're patiently waiting. The scriptures told us to, to suffer, patiently wait on the glory of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh The Lord said he's coming back. He's coming back with vengeance on those that obey not the gospel, man. Let's see what I got now. Let's see what else I got. And the Lord said, look, we're going we're gonna to confess him openly until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. I, I want to get that right quick. Quick little lesson. And I'm, and I'm about to wrap it up. I'm about to wrap it up. Let's see. Remember, the Lord said, look, my servants are going to eat. My servants. The, look, the men and the women and the children that confess Yahweh Bashim Yahweh openly to the whole world, that acknowledge Lord Yahweh Shai, he says they're going to eat. They're going to drink. This devil coming in with great wrath. But the Lord said, look, my servants, the ones, look, the elect, 
the small remnant they confess me they glorify me you know what i'm saying they reverence me to the whole world they're gonna eat they're gonna drink but two-thirds you're gonna starve out here right you're gonna start look i'm on it right now i gotta read it isaiah 65 and um 13 therefore thus saith the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shall behold my servants shall eat now one question you need to be asking yourself out there you Israelites are you serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai you see therefore thus said the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai behold my service shall eat but ye shall be hungry the Israelites that denied Lord Yahweh Shai you're going to starve out here once again you Israelites that denied Lord Yahweh Shai our Lord and Savior you're going to starve out here least ye repent least ye repent the doors of mercy is still open, right? It says, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You see, behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation, for vexation of spirit. All those that denied the, the Savior, you're going to cry out bitterly, man. You're going to howl. You're going to scream. You see? You're going to lament. You, you, you showing sure up are going to lament, Israel. So, so we suffer reproach for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But look, though, it's, it's but for a moment. It, it, it's not forever. L listen to this. Romans chapter 10. Let's see. Romans chapter 10, I started 13. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? So, so the majority of our people, they're not going to call on Lord Yahweh Shai. They're not going to call on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because they don't believe in those names, right? They, they don't believe in those names. So you're not going to get saved, right? You're not going to get saved. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. It says, but they have not all, so I can, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. The good news, right? For Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report, who have believed the words that we preach. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. So faith kicks in once you hear this word. But the scriptures tell you, um, well, as a matter of fact, let's get it right quick. I don't even want to mess it up. I want to get it right quick. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. Because it says faith cometh by hearing, right? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 2 For unto us was the gospel preached Meaning the good news that we just read about As well as unto them Meaning two thirds But the word preached did not profit them Not being mixed with faith In them that heard it Because what, what we just read Faith coming by hearing When two thirds heard the word it wasn't mixed with faith So of course they're not going to believe In Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Because it takes faith to believe in those names So let's go back Romans chapter 10 verse 17 So then faith cometh by hearing And hearing by the word of the Most High But I say Have they not heard? Yes verily Have, have Israel not heard the word? Have Israel not heard the gospel? Look 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 have, have they not heard? Yes verily Their sound went into all the earth And their words until the end of the world how, Look how did it do that? By way of the internet so at the end all be it all you ain't gonna have no Israelite walking around some of them they ain't never heard the gospel you see and I just want to do something through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the true men of the Lord are gonna confess the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh openly you see the scriptures tell us be not ashamed of the gospel man look look or his prisoners the prisoners of hope but they ain't gonna be the dead horse Lord willing the elect was edified we confess our power openly. Shalom.